imagine I want to put some music notes on my business card. Um, I can search for in photo, search for music notes, and I might see this music note, this um, treble clef that's over here, and I might want to get to it. And this image allows me to crop. It can make it transparent, but it does make the whole thing transparent, not just one part of it. So I don't, I can't use this image. I can't really get to that, that music element that's on here. So I'm going to delete this. So under objects, there's also music notes, but I don't want it to be cartoony either. So I know that there's some great options here and I could actually use one of these options, but let's say I do need to have this music note from the internet. I found something that works for me, but I know that when I import it, it's going to have this white background and I don't want the white background. So I want you to know that there's tons of websites that are available that allows you to remove the white background. Um, and all of these work really well. I'm going to pick this first one, remove.bg, and I went ahead and opened it already. But how do I get it into Vista Create? That is the question. Well, the first thing I need to do is save the image, and I'm going to save it as note. And now it's saved in my taskbar. I'm going to go to this website, and I can open it up from my downloads folder, or it's here in my taskbar. I can actually just drag it to the screen and it uploads and it takes a guess as to what it's removing. So anything in checkerboard, that's what it's removed. So it's removed the white background, but sometimes it removes too much or sometimes it doesn't remove enough. So I can go to this edit and I can zoom in, I can zoom out. I also have the ability to erase and restore so I might want to make my brush size a little bit bigger and erase part of this. Um, but I can also like, oh, I got rid of too much or it, it, the computer itself got rid of some of uh, I can restore what I want to. So it's, it's restoring some of the image, but you can see when it's restoring, it's restoring the white too. So I do want to be careful as to what I want to do. So I'm going to go back to erase. And I would be picky now about the white, but just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this part of the note. So I have the note the way I want it to look. And I'm going to hit this little download. So it downloads a whole second image and it keeps the name of the file, but it adds remove BG, so I know which file it is. I have two files now. I have the file with the white background and I have the file that, with the removed background. So I'm going to go over to Vista Create at this point and I want to add this image. So in here, I need to upload this image. So I went to my files, I'm going to upload the image and I want to pick, pick the note remove.background from my downloads folder. So always downloads to the downloads folder. And I'm waiting for it to upload. And now it's uploaded, so I just have to pick it. And it doesn't have the white background. So the original image has the white background, but this brand new image does not. So I can import, import any image from the internet. I can edit it with that remove background. I can have multiple copies of this note some large, some small. And add them to my business card. So you can add any image from the internet and you can also use outside tools to bring them into Vista Create.